Okay, so here we are again. This is yours truly, Deacon, the Velvet Voice, looking at the November 1411 Xbox One dashboard update, system update, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it has a couple of new features uh, that most people should like. Uh, let's see. Uh, new experiences. Let's just go right there real quick and see what exactly we have to look forward to in this update. Custom backgrounds, gaming profile. You've got your bio and stuff on the uh, Xbox One now. You have the smart glass updates as well. And you've got the tweeting thing, but I'm not too you know thrilled about that. Uh, Twitter's great. Tweets him and one guy, I don't know. Snap it in the Explorer, all that good stuff. So let's just dig into what most people will be talking about, which is the custom backgrounds for your Xbox One now. You know, it's normally black. You know, you've got the black standard background, but you can actually go in and uh, change not only your color, but well, let me just show you this one first real quick. It's a bio and it's other things like your showcase that are on your profile right now. This is my profile right now. I've actually got uh, an achievement from Diablo 3 and Shadow of Mordor highlighted in my showcase. You can actually, I think, do six screenshots or six videos and maybe five that you can have in your showcase. When people click on your profile, they'll actually see that. They'll see your, your screenshots, I mean your achievements and your uh, game clips you know, just scrolling like that. So it's sort of kind of like a display thing. And you've got your profile now that you can do. And that's my profile, Xbox MVP. I'm an author. I hope you guys out there support my books. Do it. You know you want to do it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so you can customize your profile. And you can go down to edit bio, change location, change gamer tag, etc., etc. I'm not going to do my bio. But if you want to change your showcase item, it just, just hover over it and select uh, Edit Showcase. And that will get, bring you into your achievement list so that you can go and check out your achievements to um, share on your showcase. And you, what you do is you hit it and it'll ask you, hey, do you want to share it? You hit the share button and it'll bring you a list of do you want to share it on your uh, profile or... Your showcase. Let me just back up a little bit so you can see that. Uh, you probably can't see it. Oops, sorry. There it is. Share it in a message, share it in your activity feed. Or share it on your showcase. I guess that's pretty cool. Now, one of the things with that that's crazy is that you would expect your bio, I mean your background option to be in your profile, but it's actually not in your profile. In order to change your background, you actually have to go into settings and you have to look for your My Xbox setting. Let me just go over here so you can see it. It's right here. You actually have to go down there to My Xbox in order to change your background. So you go and you select My Xbox and um, you know you can choose your color, you can choose your background color Yada yada yada. Well, that's my color. You can change that. You can either change your background. Now, your background color can either be an achievement, and you'll have an option for achievement art. Or it can be, let me just sit down right here. Yeah, achievement art, you can change all your different colors. Now, achievement art is really simple. You can select your achievement art if you want to do something like that. It'll bring up all the achievements that I've gotten, that you've got, and you can, you know, do all this stuff. Let's just, uh, you know, I actually haven't done, let's see if it'll do an Xbox 360 achievement, okay? Let's just see if it'll do that. I bet you it won't, and I bet you it'll be ugly if it does do it. See, it won't even let you do it. So you can't select an Xbox 360 achievement. You have to select an Xbox One achievement, which makes sense, I suppose. Okay, you go over there. Find the achievement that you want to set as your background. You press A. Set as home background. Just that simple. Background set. We go back out. And that is what it looks like. So you actually really can't see it. 
You know what I'm saying? If you scroll, I guess you can see a bit of it. Most people have already said, hey, I want to be able to like change the opacity, the transparency of these tiles so that you can see in the back of it. So you really can't see any of it. So I'm probably just going to stick with the color. But that's where you go. So you have to go to settings in order to get to that that particular option to change the background of your Xbox One dashboard. It's not in your profile. So those of you who are in the preview program, you can't find it. You have to go to my Xbox. And, um, you know, those of you who do get this next month, you know, you'll see that. And um, there's one other cool thing that I wanted to show. And it's actually a restart button that they've put, a restart option that they put into the power menu. So you actually have an option to restart your console right now. Instead of getting up, pressing the button, or holding down the button, you can actually do it from within the settings. And uh, that's about it. I guess I can go back to TV and we can show some of the... Um, you know the TV options, I guess, if you want to see something like that. I mean, I don't, I don't have my, uh, you know, there's my mini one guy. The mini one guy actually doesn't have tweets yet, but supposedly it's going to be there, right? So you bring up your mini one guy, and you know the tweets are supposed to be showing up. Xbox, Xbox, go to one guy. I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> it's Xbox One Guy. Let's try that Ten one more time. Minutes, Xbox minutes, One Guy. Xbox One Guy. So as you can see, the One Guy has <laughs> tweets and all that good stuff, but that, that that's really not something that um, you know trending and all that. It's, it's really not something that I'm going to use. You know, I have my cell phone with me all the time, and I'm always tweeting. Well, if it ever came up, it's not going to come up right now, but, I mean, well, there it is. Let me go over and see what's trending. That's what's trending. Major League Baseball Playoff Series. Arrow's going to be coming on. The Mavericks are probably going to be playing. Uh, whatever. I watch a lot of Food Network. Yes, I do. That's it, man. You've got custom backgrounds. You've got uh, the restart Xbox option. Now, you can't set your custom background for things that are on your console right now, like your personal pictures. You will be able to do that sometime this month. They're going to set an update to allow you to use Media Player in order to use different backgrounds for your Xbox One. So don't get upset about only being able to use the achievement art and only being able to use a different color. So, yeah, that's it. As always, shoot me a friend request. Follow me on Twitter at Deacon Blade. Thanks for watching.